Welcome back. Voters across the state are being asked some very important questions this week, like who they're voting for and what they're looking for in a candidate. Yes, we are partnering with CT Insider for Connecticut campaign conversations. We've been in Southington and Coventry already this week talking with voters, and today we are right there in Hartford. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is at Fire by Forge right near the state capitol. And Susan, what have you been hearing there today? Aaron, we've been hearing a lot. We are live by Fire by Forge. This is right in downtown Hartford, pretty much right near the state capitol. And this restaurant, this is where we are hoping to speak to a lot of people tonight about the issues facing them in the upcoming election. That's at 530. In the meantime, I spent pretty much the entire day in Hartford talking to a lot of voters about what goes into their minds when voting for someone in the upcoming November election. Blue Hills Avenue is lined with businesses. This Hartford neighborhood borders Bloomfield. Afni Davis owns the Shalimar Barbershop. He's been in business 36 years. For him, this is what's most important in a president. Somebody who is decent in all, enough to speak their word, stand by their word, and live by their word. Davis is a Democrat, which is by far the most dominant political party in Hartford. More than 32,000 in this city are registered Democrats, compared to only about 3,000 registered Republicans. His customer today is Daniel McCrory, a Hartford pastor who has seen firsthand what those in Hartford's capital city are facing. I know it is to have a job and not have a job. So I feel that once we get people back working again, it brings a sense of pride, a sense of empowerment. A few voters told us the economy is an important issue, but they're also concerned about crime, drugs, and education. At this shopping plaza off Flatbush Avenue, we heard some different opinions. Economy, housing, I'm just going off with, I know what people are struggling with, um, inflation, a lot of that, homelessness. Education. That's for sure. I mean, part of the reason why I moved out of Hartford recently in the last year was because schools for kids in Hartford are below standard. Definitely the economy. And we all know how the economy was when Trump was in office, you know. Um, I'd say that's one of the, and the amount of immigrants coming into this country. So we heard a lot from voters here in Hartford today, and not only was I here all day, but so was CT Insider's Dan Parr. Now, we've already established that the capital city is predominantly Democratic by a long shot, but you don't necessarily think, and from what you heard today, that a lot of these Democrats living in the city are going to support Kamala Harris. My very small sample today left me shocked by the lack of enthusiasm for the Democratic ticket, Kamala Harris, and shocked by the degree of people saying, I'm, I just may or I will vote for Donald Trump, even though their issues are some of the traditional Democratic Party issues. Why do you think that is? Or what uh, did they tell you? Well, what they told me is that they're fed up that they don't believe the system works for them, that there is one person said there's a uniparty, one person who is black said that he uh, he's an aspiring firefighter, took the test yesterday, and he says that the people vote for Kamala Harris because of her skin, and I'm looking past her skin. Right. I heard different things. I heard from some Democrats who feel that integrity matters and that they cannot vote for someone like Donald Trump. I certainly heard some of that, but not to the degree that you would expect. And remember, Hartford went 83% margin, 90% for Hillary Clinton, 83% margin for Clinton over Trump. Biden's margin fell to 73%. If it falls by another 10 percentage points, that could be the election there. Not in Hartford, but in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Detroit. Uh, not much time left before the election. Thank you, Dan Har. Great to be here. Tonight at 5.30, we're hoping to have somewhat of a town hall style meeting here at Fire by Forge, hoping that Dan and I will be able to talk to voters tonight about what issues are important to them. And of course, we'll have a wrap up of today's events tonight on Eyewitness News at 11. And if you want to read more about what happened here in Hartford today and what's important to voters, Dan Har's column will come out tomorrow on ctinsider.com. We are live tonight in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.
All right, Susan and Dan, thank you both. Our campaign conversations again continue all week. Tomorrow we're heading to Torrington to hear from voters there. And you can join us tomorrow night at 530 at Bad Dog Brewing for our conversation. We will have much more coming up tonight.